This is Ling Shi, brush painting for beginners. Uh, we have done a, a orchid with a wash background last week, and it seems have a lot of good response and reviews. So today we're going to do a, a daisy with background. And um, first talk about the papers. Um, you can use pea paper like we did last time. The pea is a little bit sensitive to the moisture. So today I'm using um, Jinghe paper, that which has a, a better sizing, more sizing than the pea paper. If you have water dragon, that would work too. And then we have um, lotus, uh, no, dragon claw paper, and that also um, very friendly to the washes. So I'm going to show you the two that we have done with the background. So you can have a visually what's going to be like. And uh, <clears throat> and one is on Dragon Cloud and one is on Jinghe paper. So I'm going to do the one that on Jinghe paper on the flower. And then I also have a couple that are ready to do background um, because you have to paint until it's dry. 
while we are at it, I might also talk about this particular variety of daisy we choose. <coughs> because uh, daisy have another kind of leaves that it looks like um, uh, um, chrysanthemum uh, mums leaves. And today we're using more lacy kind of leaves. Then, next thing we'll talk about, we're using the brushes. I'm going to use the uh, Lotus Petal Brush for the, for the um, petal of the flower. And Pine Needle Large for the center of the daisy, as well as the leaves. So, um, the, I have two wash brush, um, two large uh, combination brush. One is the full lotus, and one is the um, large flow. And these we're going to do the washes. And I also have a three inch wash brush. So right now, <clears throat> we're going to start, oh, the color. The color I'm using companion set, and then Sakura white and bleed proof white. So they are already pre-mixed. And this palette, and I'm using um, the purple in the companion set with the little navy blue, uh, uh, indigo in them. And then I will use these greens for the leaves and then some black in here for the leaves as well as the washes. You could use ink, but make sure that ink is well blended with your other colors so your wash, the ink and then the color doesn't run away from each other. So we're going to start with painting the, the um, flower. So we would paint the center of the flower facing to the right first. So I have large pine needle brush and then first I'm um, Soften the yellow. Making a cup. And then a little bit vermilion in the middle. And then with the vermilion, I'm going to add a little brown, darken it up. Maybe a little red. So around the center. So you can see now I got my center. And then I'm using the Lotus Petal Brush. First dip into my Sakura White, which also you can use Da Vinci Gouache White. And I load the tip. And then I rinse the tip off. So it's important to rinse the tip off, otherwise your um, flower be too opaque. And then I dip the purple and then I blend. So.
white, rinse the tip off the white, and then the purple. White, rinse the tip off, purple. All right, and then I am using the purple in here. And dip with carmine. Purple carmine. A little navy blue. So have like a little bit darker color for the center. Purple, carmine, navy blue. All right, so I'm doing the center. Okay, so I'm doing the the top flower, which is facing away from to the left. This, the first one is facing, the middle one is facing to the right. Yellow. A little orange. So I'm doing the center now. Okay, so the same brush, I'm adding a little red to it and a little brown. And then I have my brush, load the Sakura white, rinse the tip off, and then load some purple and blend. So each petal is looking at the center of the flower. Okay, now I'm going to use darker color. So I'm using some purple, a little carmine. The third flower down below, now we are traveling in a curve this way. 
large pine needle. And then the vermilion, a little bit brown. Sakura white. And rinse the tip off. Some purple. Here we're using purple and carmine and blend. Okay, so now I'm finishing the three flowers. So we're going to do the leaves. Like I said, the leaf is more lacy. So I'm using the green in the palette with some orchid to get a softer green. And a little bit navy. So we're going to do the the leaf in the middle. So there's a cluster leaf on the top of this flower. Add a little bit black. And I also have a skirt of leaves underneath this flower. So I'm using the green in the palette, but I soften it with orchid. And add a little navy uh, indigo. So this is exactly the same stroke as the bamboo leaves. So I want you to think about that way. Um, 
So then the same green, I add a little black, make it darker. So this is the stain, the one that holding the flower going down this way. All right, and then I'm going to do a group of leaves on this flower. So. So then use the same green, add a little black, and then we're going to have this holder down. Then I'm going to build a bunch of leaves underneath here to make this bush more fuller to support the flower. So then I'm using some black leaves. So on the top, I'm going to just use the black leaf along. So then we finish the composition. So you have to wait until it dry before you do the washes. Now I have prepared one before and we're going to do the wash now. So I have this palette that I used before so I'm going to add whatever the leftover purple I had here. The green, whatever the washes I have. And I'm going to add some more purple. Some carmine. A little bit more green. So it kind of grayish purple now you see. I hope I have enough. So the basic of this color is purple, carmine,
and green. Okay. So now I have a large flow. A super flow, I'm sorry. And I load the tip about <clears throat> a quarter. So I usually try not to load too deep because it does wash, it does push it to the top. So I want to make sure that I have some, um, <clears throat> I have some clear water so the washes would be soft. And then I load the black in the palette. And then I have another square palette here. And then I'm um, trying to do the wash. So you can see that I'm using another brush to fade it off. So then I'm using the other side. So I want to make sure that I don't run into the flower. So I'm having this thing faded away. So I'm using another clean brush make sure that I'm softening it. So on the top. I use another clean brush with wetness. Wash it off. I load my, <clears throat> this gray purple with a little black and dip. so you can see how flat my I lay my brush so I'm using another brush to wash it off so to fade away You have two colors kind of soften it. Okay, and then I'm loading my brush with this gray purple and that little bit black. So I finished the um, top of the background. Now I'm going to do the grounding this flower, the bottom one. So I have gray purple, load the first quarter, and then dark. 
black in the palette and then blend. So I'm going to do I love my brush a quarter with a gray purple and some black. Connect the two flower area and then soften it up. Super flow with the gray purple. Then a clear brush, wash it. And then I always try to fade away from Okay, and then the bottom gray purple load and then black and soften the edges. So away from the flower, kind of carve the petal out for you and soften it up. And then I'm using the gray, kind of ground it up a little bit here. All right. And then I'm using my three inch wash brush with a little bit gray because this Yellow is too bright for me. So I load my wash brush with about a quarter, um, one third into the yellow. Into my palette a little bit. The purple I had before. So then I'm going to start from the top. More yellow and soften in the play.
So the back one is yellow with purple. Oh, purple with the yellow. Yellow, soften it up with the gray. All right, now I finished my background. 